Hello everybody. My name is Tekshio Zaman Mube. Uh, some of you might know me from the songs like Kure Gerera and Nitingawena. Yeah, so I'm here today in Sushangube and today I'm going to be ministering in song and also in preaching the word of God. We are hoping to have a wonderful time. God bless you. We worship you, God. We exalt your name. <laughs> Dina. <laughs> Genesis chapter 4. Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiler of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And, and Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. And its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Come on, put your hands together for mom here. Thank you so much. Now we are going to, to be teaching and as well... Uh, worshiping God. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with with, with that? Amen. Thank you so much um, ma'am for reading the word. Now here where we have read the Bible is speaking about two twins. Now these two are not just brothers but they are twins according to what mom has read there because the bible says Eve conceived and then she bare Cain then in verse 2 says she bear again somebody say she bear again come on say she bear again bear again that means she conceived once but she bear twice now there are two twins and these two twins Cain and Abel they represent two types of churches. They represent two types of Christians. They represent the old and the new. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? Amen. How do we see that? It is time for them to bring a sacrifice before God. It is time for them to bring an offering before God. And the Bible says Cain in his offering, in his altar. <laughs> you won't believe it I don't know who taught this guy I don't know where he's learning it from Pastor. the guy brings onions he brings onions onions yes and cabbages cabbage. 
Where are you learning that from? Na ukichutile seko kai. Who taught you that? Kima wa urutile nse uwe. Don't you know that when you are sacrificing before God where there is no sacrifice where no, there is no, no blood there is no Hallelujah The guy is a modern guy I'm sure he is a vegetarian The guy brings cucumbers before God Ha But K but Abel Mara Abel says I will stick to the original way of doing things Ke tsaya mamola wa ngwa dira dilo Ha Jesus When is the time for bringing a sacrifice Hele nako ya hore u tlisa setlhabelo I will go and hunt an animal Ke tsaya ka yo tsoma phofolo I will sweat and run after it Ke tsaya kitima ka jo sitsho ke kitimisha bring the animal before God He did sha phofolo pele ha mudimo It is from all my strength and from all my sweat Ke tsa mo mateng a ka le sithuthong sa I will kill it Ke tsa e bolaya When I kill it He ke bolaya God will see the blood. Mutimo tla ndonga ma. He says in his word when I see the blood I will pass over you. He ke bona madi ke tla go no tla mo wena. When he sees the blood, he a bona madi. He will remember his covenant with Abraham. When he sees the blood, ha bona madi. He will remember his son who is crucified on the cross. O tla o tla ho pola mo rwa hai wa ba go tsi papana. The blood of this thing. Ka le ba ka re madi ya phofolela. The shadow of what will happen on the cross of Jesus Christ. Now these are two different churches. These are two different Christians. Hallelujah. The other one is a modern guy. He's today's Christian. He is today's Christian. He doesn't believe in sweating for the Lord. He, he, he is Cain. Cain. But the other one says, No, 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 no. I will stick to the old-fashioned way of doing things. I'm not going to change the fundamentals of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now Abel says when it's time to worship I will bow down. Abel hari hele nako ya ora tamudimo ke ta kwata mafase. Those are the fundamentals of the gospel. I will stick to that. Jo ya ora tamudimo ke ta ema mo jona. But 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 Cain is a modern Christian. Mara Kaine ke mo Kriste wa hona jwale. He is too particular about his suit. O twa ana le taba kudu ka suit ya hae. He thinks God will understand that he, he has make up he is not going to worship until you guys switch on the aircon now those are two different Christians those are two different churches Cain Ministries Ministry wa Kaini and Abel International Church. Le Ministry wa Abel International Church. Hallelujah. Kain International Church Muruti. Kaini International Church. It has modernized everything. Udira di loka si jo le jo. And because of that, it has lost the fundamentals of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mitawa ya gospel ya evangeli ya muti mu. Pastor Cain even comes after praise and worship. Muruti Kaine utakamra wa oreta lo timisha mutimu. You must put a red carpet for him or else he's not sitting inside. Litana jelemo halala red carpet or else agaske azena. In fact, Pastor Cain wants seven and a half bodyguards for him to walk in. Pastor Cain, Cain unyokote na kakireke ngana li di bodyguard. Seven and a half. Just seven and a half. speaks to the original pattern of God. He says when it's time for praise and worship in God, I will forget that I am a pastor. I will forget 
that I am a prophet. I will run in the house of the Lord. I will jump in the house of the Lord. I will praise and shout in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the new guy, the new church, the new Christian, he does not lift his hands. No, he lifts his phone to record. Hey. Abel says, my heart will record what God is bringing. Cain says, no, my phone will record that. He's a new guy. He's a, he's a modern guy. He's today's church. I don't know about you. But I even remember the parents of, of, of those days. I, rem I remember my mom very well. Where's, where's the, where's the, where's the, I don't know where the keyboard player is. Where is it? I said, sit there, sit there, because I want to flow like that. Sit there, I want to flow like that. Give me A flat, A flat. Thank you. Make it fast. The parents of old, they would stick to the fundamentals. They would stick to the most important things. Even when a visitor comes. When a visitor comes. When The first thing that my mom will do. My mom is a pretty woman. She would raise a him. She would raise a him. And all the children would know when that when the queen of the house is singing, all of us must rush to the Lord. Because it is time to worship. I used to wonder why is she welcoming them by a hymn? Because she doesn't want to open to some spirits that are getting in that she doesn't know that. That the visitor is coming with. If you are a visitor and you had brought gossip, you will, you will freeze. Because the moment you say, go, 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 the moment you knock, she will say, Kimolala. Oh, Jesus. And she's welcoming you. I want to hear Sali. Jesus. And then, and then she would pray. And then after praying, then all the children will know that now is time for you to talk with your visitor. They talk. They have tea. They have tea. Even the fed cooks. When the visitor says I'm going, the visitor is not allowed to just go. The queen of the house will start again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let's go.
to. Those are the fundamentals. That's the old church. The new church. When you walk in, they ask you if you want the password for the Wi-Fi. I had to change it in my house because I realized that I was becoming part of the new church. I was becoming part of Cain's church. The first thing I was getting hold of in the morning when I wake up was my phone. That's the first thing you are taking care of. But the Christians of old, when they wake up at four o'clock, four in the morning. Makatela Pusha Sha Sha Kudi Sese Thank you Jesus The first thing in your life is not WhatsApp. When you wake up early in the morning, let your children know that when we wake up, That's the first thing, sir. When we wake up, parents, please take us back there. Please, we beg you, mothers, take us back there. That's why your children are committing suicide. In fact, that is the reason why they are turning to become gay today. <laughs> Because we have since thrown God out of the house. We meet God on Sunday only. God is not allowed on Monday. In our cars on Monday, we are playing ama piano. Somebody said to me, I hate traffic jam. And I say to her, I'm sorry, I love traffic jams. Because when I'm in a traffic jam, because oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for the traffic jam. Because that is my time to say, Oh, 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 Ah. 
Anderele was now can you hear can you hear that when we are worshiping together and when there is corporate worship can you hear that the atmosphere changes can you hear that? Amen. Now, don't you want the atmosphere to change in your house? So why don't you do that on Tuesday? And Thursday and Monday in your house. Hey. Yeah. If you do that, you will never struggle. Never. Never. Now I'm putting this chair here. I want you to think. If Jesus is to come to church. And he comes to and sits here. If if he is to come and sit here. Of the things that we do in church. The many things that we do in church. Many of the things we do in church are beautiful and wonderful. But most of those things have nothing to do with him. I'll prove that to you just now. In church. We intercede for people. Jesus does not need intercession. In fact, the Bible says he himself intercedes in our behalf. So during intercession, it's people who benefit, not him. Now, there is nothing wrong with intercession. We must continue doing intercession. But I'm saying of the things that, of the many things we do in church, many of the things we do have nothing to do with him. Mostly it is us who benefit. In church, we give announcements. And we say, if you go there, there is the, the ladies room, and if you go there, there is the gents. He does not go to, a, to either of those rooms. It is us who need announcements. Announcements are for us. Otherwise, Jesus knew way back that there will be a crusade on Wednesday before we planned it. Announcements are for us. In church, we decorate. If you want to see that the decoration is for us. Or decoration now, put your own colors there. We will deal with you because those are not the colors we told you. To it's for us. Nothing wrong with the decoration. Beautiful to decorate. But it's for us. In church, we preach the word. Jesus does not need the revelation because he himself is the revelation. It is you and I who benefit from the word. So ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus comes to church and he sits there, what then has he come for? Now, what that I mean? Why is it that Jesus is here? Jesus wants you and I Just so to forget about who we are and to focus on him and to praise and worship him when we are praising and worshiping God we are not doing it as we are waiting for the pastor or for the word to come 
It is the main business. It is the main reason why Jesus comes. To if you think I'm joking, it is the only thing we are going to be doing in heaven. Now, this very thing that we are doing for him, and this only thing that we are supposed to do for him, I don't know, Pastor, but you hear the modern day church. You hear Cain's church. The MC says, MC ore. Eh, because of our time, eh, we will ask praise and worship to give us one song. We just want them to give us one verse. And one chorus. The chorus of As we raise the speaker. Hey. So now you no longer have time. All along you had a lot of time. All of a sudden the MC says we no longer have time. To push it. How? That's why God has left many churches in Fondis. That's why they have to go to some African country far there. To go and buy God. Because they don't have him. Because he is not there in many churches. When, when God is there, you will not need anyone to announce that he is here. I say that everybody in the building will feel that God is here. Every cockroach in the building will know that God is here. Are we together, church? Amen. So when it is time to worship God, we are not trying to, to, to usher the man of God to come and preach. No, no, no. no. Preaching is, is good and it is part of the service. But when we are worshipping God, regardless of who you are, it doesn't matter what you have achieved. It doesn't matter your accolades. It doesn't matter who you are. Celebrity or you are rich or you are not rich. You have to lift up your hands. Everybody lift up your hands. Let's see. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. The lifting of hands. It is part of the fundamentals of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is a sign of surrender to him. Of saying, Father, we are nothing without you. We need you in our lives. Thank you. Put your hands down. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So when we are saying lift up your hands, we are not trying to be funny. We are saying, even your body, let it communicate with him. That we love you, Lord. Are we together, church? Amen. Are we together? Amen. There is the lifting up of hands that the modern day church has forgotten about. Pastor, the other thing that the modern day church has forgotten about. I was touched, man of God, when I saw you doing it. I marveled. I thought to myself, there are still some men of God who still do that. The modern day church does not do that. Church, let's kneel. Before the King of Kings. Elders of the church. The Baba elders of the church. May those that are behind you learn from you. You are not an elder to God. There is no pastor who is pastoring God. We are all children of God. 
Bowing down before the king of kings. Corporate bowing. The church bowing. Those are the things that bring Jesus in the house. I'll prove to you just now before I close. Somebody say bowing down. Somebody say bowing down. Bowing down. Somebody say lifting of hands. Lifting of hands. Acts chapter 16, I think it's from verse 32, I think. I don't have time to read that, but let me explain it to you. <laughs> this is Apostle Paul and Silas. Les Silas. We have found it. It says it about the midnight hour. Chapter, chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. Anybody has found it? Should be verse, try verse 30. Let's see. Verse 30 there. Verse 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Yes. Let me, let me check on it just now. What is it saying, man? Uh, yeah, it's saying uh, chapter 16, 30. And he fell brought them out and said says okay okay so that is means is be, is before that is before that Acts chapter 16 verse 30 uh try verse 20 what does verse 20 say uh verse 20 yes. and they brought them uh, to the magistrates and said uh -huh. these men being jews exceedingly trouble our city right and they teach customs which are not lawful for us right being Romans to receive or observe. Right. Then the multitude rose up together against them. Right. And the magistrate tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with rods. Right. And when they had laid many stripes on them, mm -hmm. they threw them into prison, Yeesh. commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Oh, you are reading very well. I like it. Yes. Continue. Having received such a charge, yeah. he put into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Right. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns Ooh, to God. Mama, 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 thank you. Just wait, just wait, mama. Just, just sit there. Don't close it. Aish. <laughs> I'll, I'll preach like I'm a Zion guy today. Preaching and reading, preaching and reading. <laughs> hey, these guys have been beaten up. And they've been commanded to stop preaching. And this is Apostle Paul and Silas. They've been thrown in jail. this with your permission, allow me to remove this. Oh, I forgot my wife. Is it okay? Thank you. They have been beaten up. They are bleeding. But instead of complaining to God, the verse that mom just finished reading, it says about midnight hour. I don't know about you. But as for me, midnight hour, my body doesn't want to pray. My body doesn't want to sing. My body doesn't want to worship God. But these men of old, they knew the secrets of bringing God down. If you know those secrets and you apply them, it doesn't matter you are in church or you are in jail. Those are principles that God will respond to. Whether you are in the car, you are at work or you are in the toilet, it doesn't matter. God comes down. I don't know, ma'am. Midnight hour, the guy is not watching a movie. The guy is in prison. He is praising I, I, no, I don't know, man. This is Apostle Paul. He's not an ordinary man. He's the kind of guy who has gone up to the third heaven and he has seen Jesus face to face. But this guy, 
is humble enough to raise his voice. Paul, Paul. Are, you, are you okay, Paul? Are you normal, Paul? Can't you see that we are in jail? Don't you see that we've got other prisoners who are not Christians? He doesn't care. <laughs> this other day, mom, I I am flying from 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 England. I'm coming back to South Africa. A Muslim guy. In the plane, while least we are flying. The, the, the air hostesses are about to serve us food. We are waiting for the food. But this guy, his God comes first before everything. He's not a Christian, he's a Muslim. He takes his cloth. And he, he prepares right by this, by the by the aisle, by the aisle. We are on air, we are flying. The guy does not mind about us. He puts his cloth by the aisle, ma'am. And he starts doing his work. Here I was, woman of God. I was sitting close to someone. I had flown for more than five hours with this person. The person did not know that I was a Christian. I felt so embarrassed. That to us Christians, the modern day church of Cain is hiding their Christianity in the pocket. Don't be fooled by their tongues and by when Usteva you see them di doing all Pentecostal gymnastics. When you see them on Sunday, don't be fooled. These are cowards. They are cowards, these people. Nobody knows that they are Christians at work. These are cowards. They fear for their God. Some of them were looking at me when I was calling for healing, saying, Oh, 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 oh this boy. This boy will embarrass himself. What if people don't get healed? You are a coward. Can you ask your neighbor, are you a Christian? Ask them, ask them. Are you a Christian? Do your neighbors know that you are a Christian? If you are a Christian, your neighbors must know that you are a Christian. Your workmates, your boss must know that you are a Christian. How come the Muslims are bold to declare that they are Muslims? Why are we apologetic about our Christianity? When the man of God calls for crusades, we are not there to be found. Yet that is an opportunity for us to declare and make a statement in the community that we are Christians. We are Christians. Paul is in jail with prisoners that are not Christians. But he's praising and worshipping at the loudest of his voice. Say amen. amen. Say amen. Amen. What is the next verse saying, Mom? But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yo, 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 yo. Give me something. Give me something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I had. 
your, your Bible very well because if I, if I had read, read from mine they were not going to believe but this is not my Bible it's, it's yes, Mamrut's Bible. Bible it says they were praising and praying you're saying they were singing and praying now the singing was mixed with the praying the praying was interwoven with the singing Praise and worship, I must feel God in your dances. It is okay to praise God, but I must feel the prayer. I must feel the prayer. Since they were praying and singing. I don't know what it means to pray and sing. I don't know what it means to you. But to me it means you are the So much fear. The only lead that grows by the wayside. You are precious. Most precious than God. <laughs> Yes, Jesus. 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 Yes, Jesus.